So after discussing defining the sample space using probability uh, permutation and combination options, we want to move further for the, the probability of a particular event. Probability of all possible elements within the sample space is considered as one because all possibilities are nothing but equal to 100% chances of occurrence. If any event you want to see out of all possible possibilities, then the probability will be something. If anything can happen out of all the possibilities, then the chances is 100% because nothing out of the space is considered in the problem. Based on this, we define the probability of an event, probability of an space. See here, probability of an event is, suppose A is an event in a sample space. This is a sample space we considered as S. A is an event in the sample space. So the probability of A will be nothing but more than 0 but less than 1. Probability of happening a null event which is not part of the sample space is considered as 0. But probability of occurrence of any of the event out of the sample space is 1 because it is the summation of all the possibilities which is represented by all the possible events in here. So if I define a sample space over here in Venn diagram and I define many events over here. For example, this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. So if there are seven events in a sample space, then the probability of summation of all seven events must be equal to one. Now see here an example. A coin is tossed. What is the probability that at least one head will occur? So the sample space is S equal to head head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, tail. So these are the possibilities. Out of which, what is the probability? At least one head. So there are three. So event will be nothing but head, 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 tail, and tail, head. So the probability of getting this or this or this will be probability of getting A is nothing but 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 that will be equal to 3 upon 4. So this is the probability of getting at least one head. See the other example. If you toss a dice, the sample space is given here. S is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. An event is defined as the even numbers out of this sample space. 2, 4, 6. The probability of getting either 2 or 4 or 6. The probability of this particular event is nothing but 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 comes to be 1 upon 2. Now, after learning what is probability, what is a space, what is the probability of event, we will learn few additive rules for probability where we will understand what is an interaction of two events and what is the union of two events. So, there are certain rules which we have to follow in probability and because of these rules we will further understand what the conditional probability is and how we can define the mutually exclusive events or non-mutually exclusive events, independent events and non-independent events.
and their interaction. Now see here, as we already discussed, probability is nothing but the successful events upon all possible events. Now some of the additive rules, see here, if A and B are two events and we want to know what is the probability of occurrence of A and B, then it is as per Venn diagram we can understand A plus B if they are mutually exclusive. As I have already explained, mutually exclusive events are events where you have two events having no common element of occurrence. So then in that case, this is the sum, the interaction is zero. But in this case, interaction occurs because two events are not mutually exclusive. See here, if all the events are mutually exclusive, as I've shown you the Venn diagram, having uh, I've shown you a Venn diagram having events where all events were mutually exclusive. This happens, then this will not happen, this happens, will this not happen, this will happen, this will not happen. But in case there is some partition, some events, then the possibility of all the events will be probability of getting all the events will be 1. Already explained to you. Complement of event A is nothing but what is outside A. Complement of A is nothing but what is outside A in the central space. So this is 1 minus probability of A. Probability of the complement of A is nothing but 1 minus probability of A. Now see, see this problem. Suppose that E and F are two events. If we know that the probability E, F and E and F, we find the probability of any set of theoretical combination of E and F. For example, probability of getting E is 1.2, 1 by 2, then f is 1 by 3, then is 1 by 4. So if we have to calculate the probability of E or f, then it will be probability of E based on the additive rules, probability of f minus probability of E and f. That will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by comes about you can have 12 so 5 10 minus 3 is 7 by 12 now what about this so probability of e and complement of f is nothing but the probability of e minus probability of E and and probability of F. That will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. When we draw the Venn diagram, we can have probability of E, probability of F. So what is the probability that E and F not? So that will be only you have to E and F naught. So it will be probability of this plus this minus this. 
so we have to minus f only so this will be if we minus this from e and then then we have to add probability of so this is the only common region this is the only common region in E and F naught. Otherwise, rest is only F naught, and this is uh, this is the common which is which is uh, we can say which is not F naught. It is F. So here F naught is not possible, here F naught is possible, but E is not possible. So only this is the area which we see here. Only this is the area which we see here where E and F naught both are possible. So that is 1 by 4.